Dude's guessing the printer working well. Yes, yeah, so we're making a trip to the Jubilee River and Taplow. As always, those interested in where we are can follow us on the spot tracker. Good to see June doing women's work. Here we go. Venture models. Put that on your hands. Which I've already done, of course. Go in. This is where Snoopy goes for practically all his bits. Dorney Court and the cafe. Yeah. Nice cafe. Yeah, lovely cafe, brilliant. Yeah, Dorney Court reminds me of filming here, of finding falcons with satellites back in 1996. Reach and a little bit of the Jubilee River. Recognise this spot from a few years back, which is where Snoopy had an attempt in a seaplane. So this is the Jubilee River. And where Snoopy tried taking off in a seaplane. That's the view upstream along the Jubilee River and back to the road. Taplow Court. I can remember Snoopy filming from the air here in his little fixed wing aircraft. Probably the best part of 20 years ago. Welcome to Eton College Dorney Lake. Car park was a bit full, so improvised. Nice long lake. How long is it? It's uh, over two kilometres. Two kilometres. Five. This is where the 2012 Olympics were. Okay, that's the main lake. And here is the other lake that Snoopy used for robot boat testing for a brief period when uh, when Bray Lake was full with weed. Okay June, so whereabouts is it that you did your run? 5k run wasn't it? Yes, well we started at the boathouse at the bottom yeah. and then went out round those trees up there and then back up here. Yeah. Up up round here, the, the loop there, and then back. Ah, right, okay. Back down this side of this lake. We thought this was interesting. Bronze Age Barrow, but looking at the small print, it's in fact reinstated. At the Palmer Arms, I recall an interview here to do with finding falcons with satellites. Now we just followed the footpath. Probably Bovenley Church, up towards the lock along the Thames. Oh, pussycat! Meow. Wow! Meow. The Thames going up that way, right near the clubhouse. Lovely, it's open. How enterprising, lovely. Yeah, so this is where we did Snoopy's solar lamp testing, Dick and I, looking up the lake. 
nice car park right on the edge of Eton and we can walk through just here Windsor Castle Windsor Castle, Eaton Bridge and where some grumpy old men tried out a duck comb a good few years ago. On Eaton Bridge, Windsor Castle. The duck boat? Yeah. Where? Just, yeah, you can see it coming down there. There's the day's trip. Places like Dorney, Taplow, Eton, and back. I might as well save yourself time scrolling through all my many videos by me tacking the relevant two videos on the end. Use in Hampshire. It's being used in, of all things, the medieval sport of falconry. Apparently an age-old problem is at birds that go missing. Now the new technology is helping the falconers locate them with pinpoint accuracy. Julie Newing explains more. Training a bird to fly towards him is an essential part of the falconer's art. Lured by a piece of meat, she swoops and lands on the fist. But occasionally it all goes wrong and after flying off, the bird gets lost. Unlike homing pigeons, birds of prey can't find their way back home and the falconer has to find the bird quickly. The birds haven't been trained to hunt in the wild, so these birds look to humans for food all the time. And if the bird is going to be out in the wild for three or four days, it's going to die, unfortunately, of starvation. So we want to get him to it as quickly as possible. Gary already uses radio direction finding to help him track lost birds. A transmitter fitted to its feet sends out signals, which are picked up by a receiver. But the system is limited, because although it tells the falconer which direction she's flown in, it doesn't tell him how far away she is. But now a computer software package which uses global positioning and satellites put up by the Americans during the Gulf War can help Gary find his lost birds. Using a laptop in his car, the system helps him track the bird to within 100 yards. Well, what Gary was asking for isn't very different to what's been commonplace in the military for some years, and it's not classified, which is to basically use a radio to find out where something is. And uh, so I explained how he could use the software that's for free on a magazine to do that. Once Gary's told the computer which direction the bird has flown in, it finds the location and then tells him how to get there. Then it's just a question of persuading the bird to fly back to him. Julie Newing in Windsor for Meridian tonight. Will he be persuaded back?
Nein, nein.